How's it going, everybody? Caster Troy here with another Rust Electronics tutorial. Uh, this time I have a very simple auto turret setup. I will be doing a more advanced one in the future, so keep an eye out for that. But I've been asked several times to do a video on how to set up turrets, so I figured I'd get out there so you guys can get your turret set up if you're having trouble doing so. Uh, with that being said, let's get into it. I'm going to start out with two test generators here. Obviously, power sources will differ from what you're using, but this is what I'm using in this video. I'm running them into a root combiner both power ins on the root combiner and the power out to a switch like I always do. So I can turn my power on and off at will. From this switch I am running to an electrical branch and this electrical branch I am setting to 20. And then this power out is running to another electrical branch and this is also set to 20. Um, just like my command center video this is my electrical bus. This is where my power is flowing through my base. In this video, we're not going to get too detailed into it, but uh, like I had in that video, I have a power switch where I can turn off each circuit I have in here. Um, extremely handy to do, especially if you need to fix something. This keeps things nice and neat, and you know where power is going at all times. And you can see how much draw you're taking and adjust it accordingly. Very, very useful. Highly recommend doing that. Um, back to this electrical branch, uh, you run this down over here. This is running to this electrical branch here, power in, and the branch out here I have set to two. Now, obviously, what I would normally do is run this to a switch so I can turn this circuit on and off, but I didn't feel it was really necessary for this video. I just, because I'm just showing this circuit, it's not my whole base. This is just a uh, tutorial and not a full on setup or nothing. I'm not using this in a real game. So, in this situation this is no big deal currently have this set to two that's all you need power the hbhf sensor and the power out from there running to this broadcaster and that's currently what i have it set at one 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 anyways back to here we'll open this door this is my first turret system i'm going to run the power out to this electrical branch in here and from this power out, you're going to run this to your turret. This will give your turret power. Every turret costs 10 power. So I have currently 18 coming in here. I'm going to take the remaining 8 and run it to this electrical branch. Now I left this open because later on in another video, I'm going to show you how to do a more advanced setup. But for just this, for the moment, mo ugh, for the time being, I'm just going to show you how to do a simple setup. So back here, we're going to run this branch out to this RF receiver and set it to 3. It's very important that you do that. It will not function right if you don't set it to 3. Now your RF your RF uh, receiver needs to be set to the same thing as your RF transmitter or the store will not open properly. Just make sure you don't screw that up. It's very easy to do. Coming back here, you're running the RF receiver to the bottom of this blocker. And then from the top of the blocker, you power out, you're going to run to this door controller. Uh, make sure you combine the door and the controller earlier before doing this so it functions properly. Like I said in other videos, you simply unlock the door, shut it, and then click on it. And once it goes, you see a green light, that means it is coupled to that door and it will function right. So with that being said, we only got one more thing to do. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but make sure you set this to eight. I think I did, but just double checking. Uh, last thing you do, come back here and your no ammo, have that running to the pass, the block pass through on this blocker. So what will happen is this turret will fire until it runs out of ammo. And then when it does, this door will automatically shut. Um, this is to prevent this turret from getting any further damage or if for some reason uh, you just didn't have ammo in it, it's not gonna participate in your security. It, it just protects your, uh, your turret so you can do maintenance or whatnot on it. Uh, just handy, helps out a little bit. There will be a more advanced system that I'm gonna show you that where it'll 
do different things based off of what the turret situation is and when it has targets and whatnot. But for the meantime, for a very simple security, just to get your turrets up and running, uh, this is a system you can use. So let me demonstrate how it works. Right now I have two turrets set up and I'm going to turn my sensor on to include me and the door should open and if this was a raid or something it would start shooting. And there it is. The transmitter is transmitting to both those, opening both doors and if I was a raider I would be hurting pretty bad if not dead by now. So there you have it. Appreciate you guys watching. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, do a little bit of lag. Feel free to comment below. I appreciate you guys liking and subscribing. And I also started a Twitter, so if anyone would like to follow when I put up more videos of Rust or any other things I put up, uh, it's right on my YouTube page right on the right side. So feel free to check that out as well. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good day, and we'll see you around on Rust.